<laughs> they don't love. They don't love to put this. We arrived at the station near the governor's palace, where the secretary had a meeting. He went to find his car, which had driven across town to meet him. Buses are the backbone of Sao Paulo's congested transport system and also its weakest link in terms of quality and efficiency. At 6 a.m., Robinson is about to start his shift, driving one of the city's giant bandy buses. It holds more than 300 people and is usually full. At first, things go well. The bus fills up fast and we speed into town, down one of the new bus lanes. But it doesn't last for long. Soon the crowded mega bus is stuck in its very own congested lane. The general opinion in Sao Paulo is that buses are only for those who really don't have a choice. Eu gosto de trabalhar, mas para andar de ônibus não tem paciência não. Por quê? Eu acho um transporte muito lerdo, muito lento. Demora muito para se locomover, justamente por causa do trânsito. This is crowded, uncomfortable and very slow because often buses get stuck in the same traffic as everybody else. So no wonder some people are looking for alternatives. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the safety and my experience in Sao Paulo. You know, every city... Bikers here experience. face the heavy traffic on the lightest of vehicles. Volunteer bike angels try to teach people how to do it safely. But riding a bike seems to be only for the brave. Even reckless, some would say. Then let's try to go to the right. So we go. Nine cyclists are admitted into Sao Paulo hospitals every day, and you can see why. The bike angel's key message is that they have to claim their space on the streets and hold on to it, no matter how much noise drivers make. They can pop the horn as much as they want, they can just press that and like leave it that way. I don't mind. Do you trust they won't run you over? Well, I hope not. <laughs> it got to a point where it's almost unreachable to get places with the car. You get so three, four hours stuck in traffic. Quality life as well. The bicycle gives smiles back to people's faces. You know, when they see a bicycle in the street, they smile, they wave. It's about that, you know, when you have two cars, nobody says thank you anymore, nobody says nothing. You just pump the horn and that's the communication we have. I nearly got hit by a bus, but well, it was a good experience. I learned a couple of tricks. I, I might try it again. Sao Paulo has tried everything. The city authorities are extending the metro. There are bus lanes. They've even banned commuters from using their cars at certain times one day a week. But often it's still quicker to walk. There is no more instant measure. You cannot find something, a superhero that will come and will fix all these problems. The problem we have here in Brazil is that, in general, our society is not very good in planning, long-range planning. So the measures that should have been taken to solve this problem or to avoid these problems should have been taken five to ten years ago. And in our society, we don't do that. This is not an issue only here in Sao Paulo. Traffic jams are a massive problem all over the world, and particularly in developing countries, because people are getting wealthier. Well, everybody wants to own a car. With cities getting bigger and bigger, it seems clear that we all 
we'll just have to learn how to leave stuck in traffic. It's like a sea, like a sea of cut, a lot of cut. For Fabiana, it's time to head home. It's Friday evening, five o'clock, the worst possible time. There are people going back home and others trying to get out of town for a relaxing weekend. But there is nothing relaxing about this. But things can't be all bad. This is Fabiana's husband, Mauricio. <laughs> and where did they meet? In a traffic jam. Numa desses nesses dias de trânsito, eu acabei trocando olhares aí com uma certa pessoa. E aí deu certo, a gente trocou telefone, a gente resolveu sair. A gente só não pode reclamar dessa nossa história. Agora de resto a gente acaba reclamando, né? One bright side to the misery of gridlock, São Paulo. Okay.